Washington football fans, welcome to another video here on the Washington Football Maniacs channel. Taylor Heineke, has he finally turned the corner? He has had two solid games since the bye week. The Washington football team has beat two solid teams. A team that is probably you know, favored it to go back to the Super Bowl, the defending Super Bowl champions, Bucks. And another team who was solid, who was a, trying to make a playoff run, the Carolina Panthers. And Taylor Heineke played error-free football in those last two games. Has he turned the corner? You know, it remains to be seen. I don't know if two games is, is really enough to say this kid is starting to build something special. But here's the thing. It's not just him. Of course, it's the entire team that is starting to come together and really starting to make a playoff push. And should I even dare say that? You know, they were left for dead at two and six. How, how often have we said that about Washington? You know, they always seem to be two and six and then they wake up and decide it's time to play football. But here we are again. Now they're four and six. They've won two in a row. They're going against a really Seattle Seahawks team next Monday night. If they're able to pick up the W against Seattle, suddenly they've won three straight. They're heading into this NFC East stretch. I mean, who knows? We could definitely see a team that is going to make a run because, you know, once you start playing divisional games, anything can happen. And right now, you know, we look at the, these teams. Dallas is kind of a Dr. Jekyll, Mr. Hyde type of team. It's not, you know, we're not crowning them the NFC East champions just yet. The Eagles are surprising people and are really getting hot. They may be a team to be reckoned with. The Giants are sputtering. So there are opportunities for Taylor Heineke to continue his growth and to continue to be the quarterback that he has been in the last two games. And I think, you know, from a mental aspect, once you see, okay, I was able to help my team pull out a victory, a decisive victory, against the defending Super Bowl champions who have not necessarily sputtered themselves. You know, they're not, I wouldn't say as dominant. They, they are still a team who could definitely make it back to the Super Bowl. You know, you're able to lead a team to victory there. You're able to lead a uh, your team to a win against the team who was making a playoff push, who just got Cam Newton back, who, you know, I mean, for all intents and purposes, Cam Newton had a great day on Sunday. So Taylor Heineke mentally has to be saying he can do this. If he can beat the Super Bowl champions, a team that many felt probably they should have won in the playoff games against last year, then why why would it be impossible for him to be able to beat all the rest of the teams on you know the schedule for the rest of the season and i think that honestly i think that taylor haneke is starting to turn the corner now the question is going to be whatever happens at the end of this season you know if washington ends the season with a winning record you know has a playoff berth or you know has a losing record or who knows, maybe even somehow pulls out a division crown again. Do we still go after a new quarterback next year? Do we draft a quarterback? You know, that that's, a, that's going to be a question that's going to be, I think I'll say this. I think if, let's say the best case scenario plays out, Washington wins the rest of their games, or at least they win, you know, the next what we say we have what six or seven games left let's say they win the next six games make the playoffs you know pick up a, a win there i think you still do draft a quarterback but now you're in a great situation because you don't have the pressure to start this guy you know he he can literally he can sit on the bench and he can learn from Taylor Heineken, from 
you know, other veteran quarterbacks, he doesn't have to be thrown in the fire. He can sit there, he can develop. And then when it's time, he can be put out there. He's not as, it's not going to be this, you know, deer in the headlight sort of thing. Now, yeah, I do realize these quarterbacks have to be able to play in order to get better, to get comfortable with the speed of the NFL. But at the same time, you know, take a look at the situation that Aaron Rodgers was in when he was drafted. You know, he was drafted by the Green Bay Packers, who had Brett Favre, a future Hall of Famer. Of course, he didn't play right away, Aaron Rodgers. You know, he was on the bench for a while until finally, you know, Brett Favre decided to go through his, am I going to retire or am I not going to retire situation. Aaron Rodgers took over and, of course, you know, it seemed like it was a, from what I remember, it was more of a, a smoother transition because, you know, Aaron Rodgers wasn't thrown in the fire. He was ready when it was time for him to start. I would love for this team to be in that situation. I would love for Taylor Heineke to hold on to that starting job and continue to play like he has played because at that point, we don't necessarily need to mortgage our future on a first round quarterback that may or may not pan out. And especially a guy that we wouldn't necessarily need to, to start right away. And so that's honestly what I'm hoping at this point. You know, now a few weeks ago, if you asked me that same question, I would have said, you know, Taylor Heineke loved the story. And I said this, I love this story, but I don't think he's going to be the future of this team. I still don't think he's going to be you know, I don't know. I, I don't think he's going to be a, the long-term future, but I think he he has certainly made the case that he can be the quarterback to lead this team for now and to get them into the playoffs. I don't know if he's going to be a Super Bowl quarterback. Ultimately, that's the reason why you're in this whole thing to begin with. You know, you can't be a fan and say, hey, I just want them to be in the playoffs on a regular basis because you know what it's kind of like it's kind of like your addiction to whatever you know drug or alcohol or whatever it is you may be addicted to you can't just stop at a certain point and say I'm satisfied you want them to keep going and so eventually watching them be in the playoffs year in year out it's, it's nice you know you feel like you you know you can kind of brag that your team is a playoff caliber team, but you want them to be in the Super Bowl eventually. That That's the reason why that we're fans of this team. We want them to be the best. And so will they be the best with Taylor Heineke? I don't know. I hope so. But time will tell. But I, I tell you right now, I, amongst a lot of the other Washington football fans, we are extremely high on Taylor Heineke right now. He he has played about as perfect of a game, the last two games, as you can ask for any quarterback in the NFL to play. He has made plays. He has been a game manager, like I said, and he's tough. He's taken some nasty hits, some illegal hits. He's gotten up and it's just fired him up even more. And so is the rest of the team. You look at it. This team is starting to really grow some iron to them. I mean, they are starting to they're starting to show the Ron Rivera. That's what I'm going to say. They're starting to have that military tough man, no nonsense um, mentality about them, and you're starting to see this on the field. Now, I would love to have been in these meetings and practices and all of that during um, the time that they had their bye week or the time leading up to their game after the bye week to have really seen what changed because this is a night and day difference. And right now, for this team, it does not matter who is in their plane. It's almost like next man up, and that's the mentality that they have adopted and is working right now. So with that said, has Taylor Heineke turned the corner? I think he has. I think once you beat the Super Bowl champions 
And once you have not only done that, but you went and you beat another solid team the week after to prove that win was not a fluke, you've turned the corner. So I think Taylor Heineke's our guy. I really do. Will I change my mind if he starts really stinking up the joint? Maybe. <laughs> but for right now, I'm all for number four. So that, with that being said, what do you guys think? Let me know in the comments section below. As always, if you're enjoying this channel, please consider, you know, subscribing to this channel, uh, comment, be interactive. Let me know what you think. Share this channel with other Washington football team fans. Let's get the word out there that the Washington football maniacs just want to talk to the other fans. All right, take care. You guys have a great day.